Well, I'm Andy Wiseman. I'm 89 years old. I was born in Berlin of a Polish father and an American mother. I lived in Berlin till I was 11 or 12. And then because we are Jewish, we moved to Poland. I left Poland six weeks before the war started in 1939, came to England to learn some English. I then had the choice between going to Oxford or, jo or volunteering for the RAF. And I thought flying with the RAF was more fun than going to Oxford. So I joined the RAF, finished up as a bomb aimer observer with Bomber Command flying Halifaxes got shot down in 1944, got liberated by the Russians, went to Luft III prisoner war camp, and then got liberated by the Russians south of Berlin in April 45. I was a prisoner of war in Luft III between April 44 and January 45. Um, conditions weren't too bad. Germany had signed the Geneva Convention, which meant that they had to obey certain rules and regulations. Uh, we got Red Cross parcels, less and less of them, because the RAF was bombing railway lines in Germany and they couldn't get through. It was very boring. The Germans had murdered 50 officers who had taken part in the Great Escape, which upset us, to put it lightly. But it, there was a degree of camaraderie. Um, you weren't going to give in. In January 45, the Germans decided to evacuate Luft III, and at 2 o'clock in the morning, 0200, we were ordered to march out of the camp at temperatures of minus 25 degrees centigrade. We were dressed. We had no special clothing, no boots. Many of them, of us, had no gloves. We slept in the open. It was tough. Whenever I go with what I call the children, I'm 89, so I'm allowed to call them the children, and on the son of the long march, I repeat, at the end of it, they always say, we couldn't have done it. And to which my answer always is, I couldn't have done it either, if they told me, and that I'm sure that come as they are, they could do it too, especially if the alternative was death. I don't want people to dwell on the Second World War. On the other hand, it mustn't be forgotten. I think that the Long March should be repeated as often as possible, not for the sake of us who are still alive, though there are fewer and fewer of us, but for the sake of those who did not survive it, for the sake of the 55,000 plus air crew who got killed in the Second World War. And I think that one must remember, you know, we always say in the armed forces at the going down of the sun in the morning, we will remember them, but I would like them not to forget them.